Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The Royal Court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will depart the kingdom tomorrow, heading to the Republic of Turkmenistan on an official visit, following an invitation by President Qurban Guli Berdi Mohamedo. The visit will include talks between the two sides and discussions on the bilateral relations and ways to further enhance these relations and cooperation in various fields, in addition to topics on recent regional and international developments. His Majesty's Cup for Horse Racing was held yesterday, patronized and attended by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the track of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and the winners were crowned. Congratulations, the, the main race of the afternoon, the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Cup. Not only did you win, I think he's a one and two. Yes, indeed. Um, the horse Rustang who won uh, was uh, recently purchased last year and this is his first full year in Bahrain. Um, and uh, he wasn't the stable's first choice, um, but we're delighted nonetheless. Now, Frankie de Torre showed just why he is one of the top jockeys in the world, the way he uh, paced himself on that race. Yes, um, and I mean, well, uh, the whole plan and race tactics uh, suited both Shogun and Rustang, um, or Rustang and Shogun. Um, we wanted to make sure there was uh, an even gallop, end-to-end -end gallop, uh, a gallop that wasn't there in the, in the trial, um, and we got that today. And it uh, was a very successful afternoon because they uh, weren't your only winners today. Um, no, um, and uh, we, um, I think it's important to note in the first, uh, the great ride that Adnan Jafar gave Dark Power. Um, and he's a very promising up and coming Bahraini jockey. Um, and the first race was for Bahraini jockeys only, Bahraini apprentice jockeys only. Um, and on a day like this, um, I, I, I felt that we needed a race to showcase our Bahraini talent. Uh, because in the bigger races, they don't usually get uh, equal opportunity uh, if Gerald, for instance, or Frankie come over. What about when you're talking about Bahraini jockeys, what about uh, encouraging more young Bahraini ladies to take part? The, we have one lady here each week, that's Rosie Jessup, and there are a number of ladies taking part in the international race. It would be nice to see some more ladies. I agree. Uh, is there any program to, to encourage young ladies to take up the sport? Well, um, I'd, I'd like to encourage Bahraini jockeys um, as a whole, right. be it they're male or female, um, and, and, and empower them and give them opportunities. So they should just reach out to individual trainers or reach out to the club administration. This is a unique, a unique afternoon. It's the most special, special day of the year, and they're all special here on Fridays. But uh, we're, we're looking forward to His Majesty coming uh, to see the three cups in his name today. Of course, in the Arabians, the imported and the locally bred. Uh, and we've just seen the first race and the United Kingdom's favourite, Frankie de Tori, uh, our favourite jockey, is here racing again uh, in His Highness Sheikh Issa's colours uh, and won the first race. So I'm happy. Alan Smith, congratulations. The trainer, a great start for the afternoon. Yes, yeah, it's very nice. He, he broke the 1200 metre track record last week and today he's broken the 1000 metre track record. So he's not a bad horse. So looking ahead for the, the rest of the afternoon now, how are things looking for you and, and your uh, horses? Well, we go, we go into it always hopeful. Right. And if we get another winner or two, that would be a real bonus. But uh, we have thought he'll star in the next race. Uh, and I would be surprised if he didn't win. So let's hope. Yeah, I suppose my job description is, um, the technical brief is the purchase, sale and management of thoroughbred horses which we uh, hope to do worldwide. And I've been involved in the business now since 1985 and have had very many happy days here in Bahrain. I've bought horses here for Alan Smith since he started training here actually and indeed before, before he was training here in Bahrain. And um, it's always a pleasure to be here and obviously today is a big day to, to have, a, have a winner today. Is, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his patronage of the Bahrain International Half Marathon organized by the Bahrain Athletics Federation. The event witnessed the participation of a number of the most prominent male and female athletes. His Highness expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for his support and encouragement for athletes, which significantly resulted in many achievements as well as the hosting of many regional and international tournaments. He affirmed that the great care received from His Majesty the King towards the youth and sports sector has contributed to the development of the sports scene in the kingdom that reflected on the results of different sports teams that participated in various international events in addition to the success of the kingdom in hosting many important sporting events. His Highness congratulated the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the West Asian Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the success of hosting such event. He held the role of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in elevating the sports movement through hosting this event, which places Bahrain on the international sports map. His Highness also hailed the role of the Bahrain Athletics Federation for the successful organization of the race that reflect the kingdom's great ability to host international sporting events. His Highness congratulated the winners of the event and wished all success. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the second day of the competition of His Highness's third International Arabian Horse Show was commenced yesterday, which was organized by a brief at the Bahrain Endurance Village. His Highness praised the performance of the participants, which reflects the strong level reached by Arabian Horse Show sport in the kingdom. He pointed out that this progress motivates to further support this sport and also hailed the strong competition among the participating stables. He added that the participation of Kuwait and Saudi Arabia had further improved the development of this sport, praising the strong competition of Kuwait and Saudi Arabia's participants. His Highness congratulated the winning stables in the first and second days and highlighted that the third day might witness a stronger competition. He wished all participants success. The owners of the horses and participants expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his role and efforts in supporting this sport. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the West Asian Athletics Federation and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the Bahrain Half Marathon Night Race. The event was held in Zalag and was patronized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the organization of Bahrain Athletics Association. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the event along with the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali 
Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Mayer, the General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Abdul Rahman Askar, Bahrain Olympic Committee Secretary General, Mohammed Al Nasaf, the Vice President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Mohammed Abdul Latif Jalal, as well as a number of senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his utmost thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronizing the first of its kind international race that takes place in the kingdom, citing it as a source of pride and encouragement for all Bahraini athletes. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, conducted an inspection visit to the East Hud Housing Project and reviewed the work progress in various stages of the project, which is witnessing the building execution of 2,339 housing units in addition to infrastructure work. The Minister affirmed that the housing boom witnessed in the new cities of Bahrain, both in terms of construction work or the procedures of housing distribution, is a result of the Royal Order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, asserting the Ministry's commitment to fully realize His Majesty's Royal Order. He added that government's directives has paved the way to enable 25,000 families to acquire their housing units. Al Hamar noted that the average rate of disbursement for the construction of this number of units, according to the budgets allocated for housing projects from the government budget and the Gulf Development Program, amounted to 98% over the past five years. During his visit, the minister met with a number of citizens and beneficiaries, as the ministry has designated Saturday of every week as a date to, for visits and meetings with citizens. Information Minister Ali Rumehi said that the monopoly imposed by specific channels for political goals violates the public's rights. Rumehi was speaking as he patronized the Fourth Estate Forum, which was organized by the University of Bahrain's Media Club in cooperation with Bahrain Journalists Association. He said 90% of Arab people are deprived of watching football matches on sport channels, adding that there are regional and international efforts to stop violating the public's right to watch the matches of their national teams. He stressed common challenges in the media and telecommunications sector in the Arab countries calling for concerted efforts to boost awareness among the youth and adopt joint regional and international mechanisms to enhance the media and telecommunications sector in the region. The minister stressed the need to deal with fast spreading social media networks cautiously, pointing out that not every circulated in this virtual world reflects reality. He called on social media websites users to ascertain of the information and never bail to fall victims to the prevalent systematic anarchy in the virtual world. Ramehi pointed out to the growing job opportunities in the media field, stressing that communication with the youth is an essential factor to develop media work. He underlined the importance for the students to enhance their aptitude and capabilities continuously in order to improve their media competence. Under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagir al naimi honored a number of BDF members who acquired doctorate and master's degrees on the occasion of the Second Military Education Day. The ceremony started with recitations of verses from the Holy Quran, followed by a speech delivered by Chief of Staff, in which he congratulated the graduates and stressed the importance of education and the care for it by the BDF since its establishment. He added that the main goal of the BDF is to develop the military capabilities 
of the members, stressing that developing the human capital leads to developing and protecting the country. He said that development of a modern military system requires scientific and operational qualification, which could only be achieved through these broad objectives based on administrative efficiency and scientific capabilities. And Naimi expressed thanks and appreciation to the general command of the BDF, the Education Ministry, Higher Education Council, the University of Bahrain, and all other universities that contributed to the graduation of these officers. He praised their efforts in supporting the BDF and provide the necessary educational needs. He also praised the efforts of the Directorate of Military Training as well as the Organizing Committee. And Naimi wished everyone success in assuming their national responsibility under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. تنمية الأوطان وإعمارها تأتي إلى قوة تحتاج إلى قوة تحميها وتحصن مكتسباتها أيها الحضور الكرام إنما وصلت إليه قوة الدفاع اليوم من قبزة النوعية في دخول المنظومات العسكرية الحديثة التي تحتاج إلى التأهيل العلمي والعمليات ما كان ليتحقق إلا من خلال تلك الأهداف العريضة المبنية على الكفاءة الإدارية والقدرات العلمية فأصبحت لدينا منظومة تعليمية وتدريبية ذات مستويات مختلفة في جميع المجالات والمكونات تعمل بشكل منسجم مع متطلبات ومخرجات كافة الفنون القتالية والإدارية والفنية والعلمية لجميع الرتب أيها الأخوة الكرام نحن لا نتحدث اليوم عن الحصول على شهادات جامعية فقط وإنما نتحدث عن رصيد جديد لقوة العلم والمعرفة مؤكدين استمرارنا في حمل إرثنا التاريخي الكبير في مجال العلم والتنوير الممتدة جذوره العميقة في أصل التاريخ ختاماً أيها الحضور الكرام لا يفوتني في هذا المقام أن أنقل شكر وتقدير القيادة العامة لقوة دفاع البحرين إلى وزارة التربية والتعليم وإلى مجلس التعليم العالي وإلى جامعة البحرين وجميع الجامعات التي احتضنت وساهمت في تخريج هذه الكوكبة من الضباط على مبادرتهم وجهودهم المستمرة وتقديم الدعم والعون لقوة الدفاع لكافة الاحتياجات في المجال العلمي والتربوي وكما يسعدني أن أعبر عن شكري وامتناني إلى مديرية التدريب العسكري على جهودهم وعملهم الدؤوف في هذا المجال وأشكر اللجنة المنظمة برئاسة رئيس شعبة التعليم الأكاديمي وأسأل الله أن يوفق الجميع إلى ما فيه خير وعزة ورفعة وطنان العزيز في ظل القيادة الحكيمة لسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته then the commander of the Royal College Staff of National Defense, Rear Admiral Abdullah Saeed Mansouri, delivered a speech on behalf of the honored officers in which he congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and BDF Commander-in-Chief on the 51st anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. He praised the vision of His Majesty the King in launching the modern education march for the importance of education and building up civilizations. He added that education leads to achieving sustainability and the optimal use of resources and achieve development in all fields. Mansouri affirmed that military education contributed to the academic qualification which led the BDF to grant scholarships for BDF members. مسلحة بأحدث ما توصل إليه العلم العسكري من العلوم والنظريات العسكرية فهذه الصروح العلمية العسكرية التي شيدت هي خير شاهد على صدق الوعد وعظيم الإنجاز كما كان للفكر النير بأن يسير التأهيل والإعداد العسكري جنباً إلى جمع التأهيل الأكاديمي له عظيم المردود على الإعداد والتأهيل الشمولي وعلى أساس ذلك قامت القيادة العامة لقوة دفاع البحرين بتوفير منح وبعثات دراسية لإكمال الدراسات العليا في مختلف حقول المعرفة والعلوم الإنسانية والتطبيقية لمنتسبي قوة دفاع البحرين من منطلق الواجب 
وإيمانا منها بدور العلم والتعليم في بناء وطن مزدهر فقد كانت أول سنة ابتعاث الدراسات العليا في عام 1980 ميلادي وكانت أول المنح الدراسية في أواخر التسعينات الأمر الذي رسخ مفهوم الدور العلمي والتعليمي لقوة دفاع البحرين After that, the Chief of Staff honored the graduates. The ceremony was attended by Under Secretary of the Defense Ministry, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Chief of Staff of the National Guard, Major General Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, and senior officials. The graduates expressed thanks and appreciation to the BDF for their efforts in providing financial and educational support. They praised the support of the BDF Commander in Chief and affirmed that this patronizing of this event shows the importance of education and his keenness for the BDF members to acquire degrees in various fields. Meanwhile, the BDF are conducting the Hasn al-Watan exercises this week with the participation of the National Guard and the Interior Ministry across the Kingdom's governorates. The exercise will be an evaluation of the speed and level of leadership and operational responses to implement the crisis management mechanisms and achieve the factors that the military institutions seek to improve through their coordination capacities. The training will also include various stages to test the effectiveness of the operational plans for dealing with crises of all kinds as well as to identify the appropriate measures for dealing with them and to enhance the cooperation and coordination between the BDF and the National Guard and the Interior Ministry. The exercise comes within the framework of a training approach adopted by the BDF to upgrade its cadres in terms of combat readiness and management and the development of defense capabilities. In the presence of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Hamaid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Cultural Council hosted the first Guest of Honor events of Riyadh International Cultural Book Fair, where the authority presented two cultural lectures. Bahraini writer Sawsan Ashar launched the first day program titled The Crisis of Our Arab Intellectuals. She praised the relations between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain and also praised the efforts exerted by the Riyadh International Book Fair in discussing the current situation and challenges of the region and discussing the status of the Arab intellectuals and chairman of the board of trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, presented a valuable lecture entitled Two Kingdoms Between Vision of Progress and Regional Security and expressed thanks to the organizers of the Riyadh International Book Fair. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halil Ansari, presented to the American Women's Foreign Policy Group the achievements of the kingdom in the field of Bahraini women advancements in an open meeting organized by the National Museum of Women in Washington. 
The presentation was held in the presence of Her Highness Sheikh Hanayla bint Hamad bin bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, and a number of officials. Al Ansari noted that the acceleration of the achievements of Bahraini women is an extension of the civilized development of Bahrain for thousands of years, in which women were an essential part of. The Bahraini woman is well-educated, she's poised, she's smart about the way things um, are, are operating around her. She's brave and she is energetic. It's so, in, it's so inspiring, frankly, to be around women like the women that we met today. The Bahraini women are so impressive. And I think we learned today a lot that we didn't realize. And there are so many examples of leadership and really promoting uh, women in society that we have a lot we can learn from.